been several days since an order went into effect directing tractor trailers to stay on the interstates and avoid Covington. However, our cameras found the semis are still causing traffic problems in northern Kentucky. Local 12's Christian Hauser is joining us from Covington with what's being done to keep him off the street. Hi, Christian. Hey, Megan and Adam. Here at the intersection of 5th and Main Street, it's one of the biggest problem spots in the area. Traffic is normally backed up all the way onto the exit ramp from I-75 with cars just trying to make it across the Clayway Bailey Bridge. But when a semi comes through here, it really jams things up. The signs start miles away, warning through traffic to Ohio to take I-275. Only local drivers should stay left on I-75 northbound. Most of the trucks we saw did merge onto I-275, but several stayed on I-75. We followed this one as he made his way northbound. He passed this sign telling trucks to exit at 12th Street, and then when we got to the 5th Street exit, he needed to make a left turn, but as you can see, it didn't go very well. A few choice words later, and he was finally able to clear the intersection. I saw him driving around a little bit later, but never did see if he tried to cross into Cincinnati. I talked with Covington police about the issues. They say they're receiving numerous complaints about the trucks. Officers are keeping an eye on the area, but they don't have a way to determine if a truck has a local stop or not. And they still have to patrol the rest of the city. They've not issued any tickets to any of the truck drivers so far, but that's because the transportation cabinet says it wants any traffic stops to be an educational moment instead of an enforcement one. Basically, tell the drivers they need to stay on the interstates. What about Kentucky's commercial vehicle enforcement arm of the state police? Well, they're in the area, but troopers are only directed to keep people off the Brent Spence Bridge. No one requested to have extra patrols in the area to monitor the semis. As for the trucks heading southbound from the Clay Wade Bailey Bridge, it's not really an issue for them. You can see they're able to make a wide right turn off the bridge and then head straight to the on-ramp for I-75. I reached out to our local transportation cabinet folks asking for an interview to learn what is being done to crack down on this problem. I can actually see three semi trucks in line right down there, but so far no one has gotten back to me. As soon as they do, I'll let you know what they say. Until then, if you can, avoid the Clayway Bailey Bridge. Live in Covington, Christian Hauser, Local 12 News. I'm sure the folks that live around that area are definitely feeling it too. Thanks, Christian. If everything goes according to plan, the Brent Spence is expected to reopen a month from today. As soon as we hear an update on the repair progress, we will let you know.